Hello and welcome to the second Java programming video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to use Eclipse. You'll probably be met by a, a startup menu when you start Eclipse for the first time. Just go ahead and close it down. The button should be somewhere over here. And you should be met up with this menu, this views. The package explorer is pretty much where you can access all of your folders and projects and source files inside your workspace and the workspace is pretty much where you store your projects for example I have one for and engine where I store all of my and engine projects I have one for YouTube and yeah, the console is where we're going to put out information when we run our applications and problems just types out problems when we run our program if it crashes or something if any of these windows disappear you can just go ahead and go into window show view and select the one you want to put up again. And select the one we want and select the one you want to show again. I'm now going to show you how to start how to create a new project. You're just going to file new Java project. And then you name it. For example, I'm going to name mine Java YouTube, since I'm going to store all of my YouTube videos inside of here, the source code. And you should see this. Now actually those are old files, just gonna, gonna go ahead and remove this. Now this is what you will see. You don't have to worry about the GRA system library, you won't bother with that. So basically we created a project called Java YouTube, and with it we got the source folder and GRA system library. I'm going to go ahead and create a new package, which is basically a new folder where you store your source code. I'm gonna, going to name this Java sorry there should be no capitals Java third video and then to create a new source file create a new class and I'm going to name this Java third video also note that I use capital letters here Java is case sensitive so capital J is not the same as a small J and this is the code that should come with your class file package basically defines where your source file is located and I'm going to talk about this more in the next video and that was all for this video thank you for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and share the videos it would really help a lot so hopefully I will see you in the next video bye bye